Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. When Hashem gives you all the money in the world, and you don't do the right thing by Him, they'll start sending you tests. Even when Hashem doesn't give you money, and you don't do the right thing, they'll give you tests. As we all know, the world has changed. If you ask your parents, your grandparents, and you ask them, how was the world when you were a kid, when you were my age? You'll never hear, no, it's the same thing. It doesn't exist. Why? Because we find ourselves, according to the Torah, in the time that we call the end of time. Anyone that watches the news for five minutes can realize the Third World War already started, it's just quiet. Before Russia sent all of their planes and helicopters and jeeps and tanks, they sent a ship with 200 atomic bombs to Syria. Accordingly, they're saying that it's to fight ISIS. I don't know why you need even one atomic bomb for ISIS. So whoever buys that story is a fool. If that wasn't enough, since that was September of last year, the 200 atomic bombs were already used up, we need some more. So about two months ago, they sent a submarine, that's the biggest submarine in the world, with more atomic bombs than the original ship. We just don't know how many. This is also for ISIS. So we realize that this is not for ISIS. You don't need to be Einstein. You see that the United States is heating up every day, everyone wants to fight. Israel is becoming the most hated country in the world on a regular basis. It's actually becoming popular to be anti-Semitic. A recent study of just a couple of years ago said that over 40% of Americans consider themselves anti-Semitic. This is our allies. Missiles are being shot at us in Israel on a regular basis. Jews are being beat up all over the world, some of them being killed Hashem Elohim. I think there was a few incidents in Brooklyn as well recently. The world is not the same. The world's heating up. According to the Nevoot, according to the prophecies, you can find all over the Gemara, all over the book of Ezekiel, Zechariah, and also even the Chamishach of Torah. We have every single sign we need for the end of times, except one, the Mashiach himself. <laughs> ואתה חושב, אה, הנה עושים, אנחנו נמצאים במצב קשה, ואם אני אגיד לכם את האמת, מה אני בעתיד? אני אגיד לכם את האמת. הם חושבים שיהיה שלום, חושבים שיהיה שקט יום אחד, טיפשים גמורים, שעל זה נאמר בפרס התעשינו לנו היום, עם נבל ולא חכם, דור עיקש ודור דור, אנשים תקני לו דור. שאלו אביך כמך, שאלה אם אני אהיה, חמאל אצלם. קוריה, קוריה תגיע כאן, חמאל אצלם, שמאז שלא נוסעים. וכל מי ששם לב, מה שמתרחש בקוריה היום, זה בשבילנו. האטום. If you go to the last page of the Gemara, מסכת סוטה, page 49, it says, these are the things that are going to happen at the end of times before the Mashiach comes. You listen to it and it's like reading the newspaper, the daily news. Everything they said is going to happen, which was unheard of in those times, is happening as we speak. תבינו! תדעו! שזה יותר מהשואה! כאיש כאן חד יפי! מותי כאן עד שעוד תחתית! תדע מה זה שעוד? מה זה שעוד? זה הפירה של קוריאה! ככה תגיע כאן! תורמכם! אתם צריכים להעריך אותה! לכבד אותה, אולי לחם כנגדה, לא באלימות אלא בדרכי שלום, בתשובה. לא אלימות ולא שום דבר, רק תשובה. 
le Tsuba Sultan Hamad Nasser. Et vous savez, après Niyaz, dans le Harba Boker, vous avez appelé Khalid Dakot, cette fille, un cœur de Tchema, et vous avez encore les Khadiyah 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 Khadi